What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with a fun setup for your Amber. Amber is the queen of fire. She can strip armor, crowd control, give herself damage reduction, deal decent damage over time, and with augments, she can do great things like idle and hunting and provide energy for herself and her teammates. Now this build is definitely not for the casuals, also not for people who want to sit still and whip walls, teabag spam, or pretend to be tanky with a lot of health and armor. You are a glass cannon, but when played right, you can survive crazy high levels. Our main source of survivability are iframes. Now, what are iframes? Basically, invincibility frames, it's either a set of actions you perform, where the amount of frames or any animation your character does makes them invulnerable. The main source of iframe we have is shield gating. When the shields break, you're invulnerable for 1.3 seconds till your shields are fully replenished. Second is rolling guard, giving us 3 seconds of invulnerability while also cleansing you of status effects. And finally, defy, a subsumed ability from Wukong. Now, this isn't for the useless armor it gives, but making you invulnerable, draws enemy fire, and once the duration has run out, it knocks back enemies, or you can recast it to knock enemies back for that great crowd control. And since I will be using brief respite in the aura and auger mods, I can regenerate my shields and get another instance of a shield gate. A little tip with Amber's fourth ability, it will not consume energy unless it hits enemies. If there are no enemies in the area within partial line of sight, it will not consume consume any energy. So it's not the best ability for energy to shield conversion with brief respite. I'll be using this ability to build up my emulation meter so I can armor strip with fire blast while also using the augment exothermic. Enemies affected by inferno will have 15% chance to drop energy orbs. Unfortunately, this doesn't scale with power strength or anything. So let's see how the survivability and support work. Just remember, you have to keep an eye out on rolling guards cooldown and your shields. Alright, let's take a look at the build. A reminder, this build is not for new players or casuals, because... Uh, we, we don't do that here. Brief respite in the aura for the energy to shield conversion. Using energy will help you regen shields. The higher your efficiency, the less shields. So it's also useful to pair it up with auger mods as well. Prime Surefooted provides you with 100% resistance towards staggers, pulls, and knockdowns. Remember, spending less time on your butt is a huge DPS increase. If you don't have this, use Handspring. Prime Flow and a Rank 4 Fleeting Expertise for the decent energy pull and efficiency because we need some efficiency for our energy drain when maintaining the emulation meter. I tried it with 100% efficiency and equilibrium and it wasn't that great. Hence why I opted for the augment instead along with 150% efficiency. Great uptime and great energy regen. Primed continuity to counteract the negative duration from fleeting. Rolling guard for the iframes and status cleansing. Reach and stretch for the range and great coverage. And finally, natural talent for the great casting speed, giving you zero downtime between ability casting. For weapons, use whatever you want. But do check out my gun and melee modding guide if you want to learn how to mod your weapons to do a lot of damage. This is Amber that defies all odds. You see, you see what I did there? So that has been it from me. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe. For more Warframe content, streams, and so much more, do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.